have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sinning And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night inning There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Baby, it right, that's the thing Every night got a team Hey guys, with you Dr. Gaish, I'm a research fellow at Mayo Clinic Phoenix. Also, I'm an accepted intern in Creighton Internal Medicine Residency Program for 2021. In this video, I will speak about my research experience in Mayo Clinic Phoenix Cardiology Department. I will divide the video into four main points. The first one is about the application process and the sending emails. The second is about the interview. The third, paperwork. And the fourth, about my research project and experience in Mayo Clinic Phoenix. And at the end, I will answer all the questions that you asked me on my Instagram story. So if you like to ask me any question, please follow me on Instagram and I will leave the link in the description below. So let's start this video. So the first point is about sending emails. In this point, you need to be patient. You will send many emails, thousands of them, to be able to get a position or to be able to be offered with an interview. So be patient in this process. I will leave an example of the email that I sent. My approach is so simple, to the point. I start with introduction, speaking about my credentials. Then I'd like to ask him if there are any vacant positions that I can join. During sending emails, it's so important to have many connections. Because I was lucky, I know insider information from Mayo Clinic, there is a vacant spot with my attending. That's why I emailed him and he replied in one week with, done with the interview in two weeks and then I got accepted. So here the connection that played so important role. So if you are trying to do your second experience, you are active on social media, you know a lot of people with like associations like Entar or any other association try to build a connection that will help you in the future with vacant research position. Also during sending emails in the application process, there are many people that will offer you spots that is paid like you have to pay some money to get this email or to get this spot i will be honest with you i think you should do your best to apply widely with thousands of emails do your best to get accepted for free but put a time frame for you if you don't get accepted in one month two months three months six months whatever your deadline you can go for the paid spots that you will pay some money to have a research spot it's not the best thing, but if you have no other choices, it will be a good option. Okay, let's move to the second point, which is the interview. I have a separate video about the interview process, and I will leave it in the description. But I'd like to speak here about an important point related to the research interview. For sure, you will be asked about if you have any research experience before. That's why you need to prepare an answer for this. It's not a must, but it will increase your chances. People with the good research skills, especially the biostat part, have many opportunities to be accepted also for paid position, not unpaid one. So you need to have a research experience during your medical school. Even from medical school research project, associations like MTAR or TSRA, also you can have the online groups like the ORC. And I'd like to speak about my experience with the ORC. There are many other online groups now, but in 2017 I worked with them. With them I had two publications, three or four abstract and uh, poster presentation. It's not the best experience that I didn't get out of information, out of experience from them. But if you have, if you don't have any other option, just to go for online groups to have some publication, to have it in your CV and to speak about it in the interview, it will boost your chances to be accepted. Okay, let's move to the third point, which is the paperwork. There are two types of paperwork. The first one is the paperwork from the hospital, like here from Mayo Clinic HR. And I think in this process, you need to follow up with them, try to be pushy a little bit, send a lot of emails, call them to get the paperwork done. Then the other part is the visa. Uh, I have a separate video about the visa process for the J1 visa. Uh, if you like to check it, I will leave it in the description below. Let's move to the fourth point about my research experience here in Mayo Clinic. I can't speak in detail about all of my projects, but I will speak in brief about 
uh, three of them. Uh, the first one was about developing artificial intelligence to be able to read the angio through the thigh uh, software here in Mayo Clinic. We worked on around 15,000 patients. The other project, it was about echo finding in some patients with trichotomy triggers after uh, pacemaker implantation. And in this project, I learned a lot about uh, echo and echo strain. And I think this could be beneficial for me in the future to be able to apply for cardiology fellowship. The third project was about the LVAD and the uh, its integration with the thumb base maker and the prognosis of the heart failure patient with temporary or permanent LVAD. Furthermore, I learned a lot from the personal perspective to work in Mayo Clinic, number one in the nation, be surrounded with people who have a lot of passion, love towards their field. Working under the supervision of Dr. Arthinzani, I worked on three projects in three uh, months only, and this project will lead to eight to 10 publication. This will be a good addition to my CV during my application for the cardiology fellowship. Also, the fellows are so cooperative. Hassan, he gave me a lot of recommendation tips for residency. The co-workers here are so cooperative. I was happy not only to work with them, but I was happy to join them in a lot of fun experience in Phoenix. I'm done with the main point that I'd like to speak about. Now I will check my Instagram story question that I posted before doing this video. So if you like to ask me any question in the coming videos, please follow me on the Instagram. I will leave the link in the description below. And let's start with some questions. So the first question is, uh, please explain how to apply. And I think I cover this part in this video. Uh, tell us when and how to start a research I think I covered it in the part of the medical school and you need to have some research experience during your medical school to be able to speak about them and to increase your chances during your application for a research position in the state. The third question, how to be a good researcher? Actually, I was worried a lot about this point because cardiology is a specialty. You need to know more about angio, echo, but don't worry. Uh, people here in Mayo Clinic or in any uh, research spot, they will teach you the skills that you need to be able to do the research. So you need to do your best during the medical school, have some publication, have some experience, but don't worry because every research project will need some skills that the people here or in any research position will teach you. The fourth question from Amit, tell us about your friend uh, that you made during the research. Actually, I was so proud to have Ahmed as a friend. He is from India. He is a colleague here and he is senior than me with Dr. Arsene Jani. Uh, if I'd like to describe him in one uh, expression, uh, he will be the guy that works smart, not hard. I really uh, proud to work with him and he helped me a lot during the start of my research experience here. And I'd like to keep in touch with him. Uh, in the future. Yeah, and by this, I think I answered most of the questions and I covered them in the previous point. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And see you in another video. Have a good day. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress You ain't never gonna stop me, cause it's my conquest And I'm never gonna rest, yeah. Y'all don't know that I'm a soldier I always felt like I'm alone yeah. When everybody thinks they know ya yeah. And y'all don't even know